Two years ago, we produced a film to highlight the impact of the general licences fiasco. This farm on the Isle of Wight lost 200 lambs in spring 2019, all killed by Corvids. At the time, wild justice had derailed well, DEFRA and with it the ability to control listed go. bird species in very specific circumstances. Protection of livestock being one of them. Eyeballs and its tongue are gone too and if it had survived it wouldn't be able to feed. That was then, so surely things are much better now. Depressingly, not. It's really heartbreaking to go around and and pick up good, viable lambs that often aren't dead. They'll often have their tongues and their, their eyes pecked out. And then we have no option but to, to put those lambs down. Even lambing half his flock inside, Andrew still lost 100 lambs. And just like in 2019, he could do nothing about it. Not because of wild justice, but because the ravens and badgers killing his livestock are protected. We've gone from having a couple of pairs of, of ravens here living on the, in the cliffs that was perfectly tolerable and they took a few lambs, but it was a small amount, no, no real issue. That's living in the countryside and, and running a sheep lot. To now, uh, I would say we would have up, upwards of 40 pairs just on this farm alone, plus next door there's more, and it's become a, a, a real sort of epidemic of, of these birds. We need to keep that number in check. There are too many here. This is the problem. We protect and conserve and a population grows. And then those we protect start overpowering others. Badger success equals hedgehog demise. So Traditionally example. it would be foxes okay, causing the heartache for a sheep farmer. The balance of power has shifted. The emphasis has gone from sheep farmers worrying about foxes to now sheep farmers not worrying about foxes at all and sheep farmers worrying about ravens. It's definitely how it's gone here, but in reading the farming press, uh, it's a pretty consistent tale throughout the country. And the, the thing that, that upsets me about badgers is if we have, ever have a ewe get stuck on its back or stuck in a fence or anything, that's when the badgers will go in and they, they, they seem particularly vicious, but we can't control at all over badgers. The Isle of Wight is also the release site for white-tailed or fish eagles. Andrew says they act like an enormous flying scarecrow. They are the bruiser in the playground with whom everyone avoids making eye contact. At the moment, they're not a problem. There's nothing wrong with foxes, badgers, ravens, white-tailed eagles. The, what there's something wrong with is loads of them. You know, a few foxes, a few... We can cope with all of that. You expect it, don't you? If it's protected, it disproportionately expands its numbers in an area and then it becomes a real problem. Our original film has clocked up 1.7 million views and continues to be one of the most popular on the channel. So maybe the harsh reality of rose-tinted countryside management is a little clearer to a lot more people.